In this video, I'll show you how to install Samba and how to turn your Raspberry Pi into a file server on your network. I will leave timestamps down below. The first step is to install Raspberry Pi OS onto a micro SD card so that you can put it inside the Raspberry Pi. I'm using the Raspberry Pi desktop. I tried this with the light version and there are some problems. And benefit is that you can use a GUI or remotely connect to it to troubleshoot problems or to install updates. The first step is to SSH into the Raspberry Pi or to use the terminal and you'll want to update and upgrade the operating system. You can do this with sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. Now we're going to install Samba. Samba is what we're going to use as our file server. To do this, we're going to run sudo apt install Samba and Samba common bin. Now we just have to edit the Samba configuration file to tell Samba where our drives are. At the bottom, you're just going to copy and paste that command. It will be in the description and change the 128 at the top to whatever you want your drive to be called over the network and change the directory to where your drive is. If you have multiple drives, you could do this again. Once you're done, just save it. Now we're going to set the password. This is the password that you'll be using to log into your server and access your files to make sure it's something secure. To do this, run this one command. Once you set a password, the drive will be accessible over the internet. If you just wanted a basic file server, you're done. Now I'll show you how to give your NAS a web interface. To do this, I'll install Casa OS, which is a script that you can run on your Raspberry Pi that will allow you to manage Docker containers and apps. I made a full video on that. You can install Casa OS with one line, and when it's finished, you can open your web browser to your server IP and create an account. And you're done. You can install any Docker app or use the App Store. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on because I make Linux and Raspberry Pi videos almost every week.